and so my main um, well, community impact. So I do day of caring and then we have our free tax program that we run in the spring. Um, and we have Stuff the Bus, which is a large event. We had over 36,000 school supply items donated this year, which was huge for our community, our communities. We cover an eight uh, area service um, for the counties that we cover. And, um, and it's all sunshine and rainbows. That's what Amanda Wong, that, <laughs> she always says I'm the, I'm the director of sunshine and rainbows. Right. So. <laughs> Every organization needs someone like you That's to right. keep the spirit up. <laughs> keep yes, everyone I definitely motivated. do that. <laughs> all right, Ms. Bethany, can you tell us a little more about yourself? Uh, yes, I'm Bethany Noto and uh, I work as a trust officer at Centennial Bank. Okay. And um, of course, Centennial Bank, we're a huge supporter of United Way, and uh, we feel very fortunate to have United Way here in our community and doing such great work. And um, so I got involved um, about three years ago, I guess, with Day of Caring as a committee member, and um, last year was able to serve as the Day of Caring co-chair okay. and moved into the chair role this year. Ooh. So it has been so great to work with um the ladies at the United Way and really just all the volunteers. I mean, we have so many great volunteers from our community that come together um, for this event and for, I mean, for all the United Way events. Um, and I'm also able to serve with United Way as the co-chair for their small business campaign. So oh, that's nice. exciting to kind of get to have dual roles with United okay. Way and, and see um, the event side of it, but also the campaign side of it is really eye-opening for all the work that goes into it. All right, so let's get right into the Day of Caring. I've been familiar with this event. Um, I used to work at a nonprofit agency back in 2002, starting in 2002, and that's how I became familiar with Day of Caring, and it has always been such a fun, engaging event. Um, but this year is actually your 25th year. 25th, yeah. That speaks volumes uh, one that United Way has been dedicated and committed to hosting this event. And two, the community has really backed and supported your efforts to make this as great as it is. So tell us, how did it get started? Um, what was the drive, the drive and the push and the goals and the mission behind Day of Caring? So Day of Caring started in 1994. Okay. And it was really um, aimed at bringing community um, together, not just for fundraising, but to have hands-on projects. And so um, I think Jonesboro is a unique community in, in the fact that people love volunteering, people love helping, like it's a very generous community. Um, and United Way wanted to really find a way for people to be involved, not only in funding programs, okay. but really supporting them with hands-on, mm -hmm. boots on the ground. Okay. Um, and so it started in 1994, and here we are 25 years later. 25 I years. mean, it's a pretty, we had a, like last year, we had 400 volunteers. This year we're at 454. That's so amazing. that's yeah. a lot of people supporting the nonprofits wow. in Craighead and Greene County. I think that one thing that has kept this event going too is that, you know, our nonprofits in our community give back mm -hmm. every day of the year. And so this is something that allows us to give back to the nonprofits, which is really unique. I mean, that's not something that, of course, we're able to give money and we can volunteer, but this is truly like benefiting them. You know, they're not able to, to do some of these projects sometimes, yes. whether they don't have the funds or the manpower or whatever. And um, so we're able to do a service for them when they serve our community all the time. It's really the day that everybody can say, hey, look, we see you. We want to walk along with you. Mm -hmm. We're going to hold your hand. We, we want to help you do something. And right. so I think it's a day that everybody looks forward to in the aspect mm -hmm. that they want to go in and they want to help and they want to they want the nonprofits to understand that we do care what you're doing. We do see what you're right. doing and you're doing great things and we want to help you to continue to do great things for our community. That's right. awesome. Um, I can remember in years past, um, I went to one of the kickoff breakfasts and it was just so amazing to see the people there excited about the work that we're going to be doing. Um, people took, you know, day off work or mm -hmm. however much time off work to dedicate their volunteer hours. Um, 
volunteering is vital for our community because again like Ms. Bethany mentioned a lot of these agencies can't afford to hire mm -hmm. full-time even sometimes part-time employees to fill these roles and there are some gaps in not services gaps in things that need to get done um, just within their office within the, you know whatever their services they provide so having a volunteer fill that space is so beneficial so tell us about why it's important for people the volunteer do you have a number like i've heard people over the years try to give a number correlation to volunteer out like a dollar mm -hmm. amount to volunteer hours so um, i'm thinking that's, yeah <laughs> no, that's hard to calculate okay <laughs> now shayla creekmore is listening in right now and she's probably going to plug in some a number there because she's got a better track on this than i do but i think the last time that we calculated it it was like $21, like the volunteer hour was like wow. $21 per hour. And so, I mean, it's huge. They do um, amazing, amazing work. Um, I think I went way off track there with what <laughs> yeah, I was saying. I but <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Either. Let's circle back. That's around. okay. No, yeah, I don't know what the, what the monetary value would be on that. Priceless, I guess. But it, but um, <laughs> priceless. <laughs> that's, that's good. That's a good one. That's um, good. But in all, back in, in all reality, it is beneficial for the agencies because they can use the funds they do have to purchase more either equipment, um, pay their the staff they do have, or buy supplies, just day to day supplies, paper, pencils, whatever. So. Again, me having work, having had work for another nonprofit, um, I know <laughs> what it's like to run on a budget that's about, <laughs> you know, yay big. So, um, having volunteers come in to help with a few things is amazing. Um, I remember we had people come and help paint our office and do some moving around of some furniture, some of the things because we, the staff, still had to do. What you know, whatever service we provided right. at that time, we still had to do our job. So, right. having someone else help do other things was very beneficial. Well, Shayla just texted in and said that it was actually twenty dollars an hour for Arkansas in 2017. The, ash, the wow. national average is twenty four sixty nine. So, when you think about four hundred and fifty four volunteers and each hour that they work is equivalent to twenty dollars an wow. hour. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. That yeah. is a lot. Yeah. Okay, so we want to just really give a shout out to all those individuals that Absolutely. are putting in their time and their energy to make this day great. Um, now, beyond the actual day of caring, are, can people just still volunteer? Do you know? Just reach out to other agencies. Absolutely, we have uh, we have people call all the time and ask to volunteer. And if we don't have something at the United Way, we reach out to our funded programs or other nonprofits that we're connected with. We try to find them a place because we know that um, community investment is so very important. And so we encourage people to not only volunteer Day of Caring, but to find a project and do it all year round. I mean, we've got um, food bank packing commodity boxes, mm -hmm. helping neighbors food pantry. Okay. Um, CASA, CASA is yeah. always looking for volunteers. And so there are so many different avenues to volunteer in um, Jonesboro. And so yes, absolutely reach out and we can connect you with um, a nonprofit that could use you. All right, so you mentioned that you have uh, about 450, you know, uh, number of volunteers. How many agencies do you actually have that have registered for those volunteers right now we have 19 nonprofits okay. who have submitted projects and we do have room for more projects to be submitted okay. um, so if there is a nonprofit who has a project something that they need help with and um, they can go to the United Way website it's uwnea.org and go to the day of caring page and there's a um, project request form that they can fill out and um, we ask for those to be submitted at least by this Friday, this so Friday. tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> this week's gone by yes, fast. It has. Um, so by tomorrow, mm -hmm. by the end of the day, and um, we're working, you know, to to get those volunteers matched up with the projects next week. So. Well, I'm happy to say that I signed up Kelly K for <laughs> You did. Um, so we're going to hopefully have some people putting some shelving up that oh, yeah. it's a lot of short people that work. <laughs> so, and people who that. don't like to climb. So yeah. uh, we're going to have people that are 
willing to climb mm-hmm. and do some put, put some shells up. Yeah. Well, <laughs> if you're a nonprofit that's yeah. listening and you're wondering, okay, well, what kind of projects do you do? So painting. Mm-hmm garden cleanup oh, wow. shelf hanging and so yeah. <laughs> and if you have a question about a project if you think that you might have something give me a call at 935-3658 and you can ask those questions and you can reach out to bethany both of us and if you have questions about what kind of projects um that we do reach out to us we'd love to visit with you and okay. see if we can't get you some manpower right absolutely we have um you know anything from some teams request to work indoors so okay. maybe they're doing some filing or a little bit of cleaning okay. um some nail painting we do nail painting. yeah we do have some uh who paint nails at uh the Benedictine Manor. Um, oh. So if you're really good at that, <laughs> um, you can do that. We also um, have, you know, some that just interact with kids, maybe at some of the nonprofits oh. where there's children, um, some, you know, putting together information packets, things that take time, you know, if it's just one or two people doing it, but we can get a team of, you know, five or six in there and they can get it knocked out pretty quickly. So we have anything from that to, um, we have fabulous volunteers from City Water and Light who take on some of our tougher projects. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and yes. um, they are capable of taking on some of the bigger outdoor projects for us. So if you have a question about it, we can absolutely at least visit with you about it and see what, if we can get something done. That's amazing. You're tuned in to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. We're speaking with Miss Tiffany Gibson and Miss Bethany Noto. Um, Ms. Tiffany works with United Way of NEA, and Ms. Bethany is with Centennial Bank, but she's the chair of the 2018 Day of Ca- United Way Day of Caring. I am just so looking forward to this. Now, are we allowed to take pictures or document, you know, kind Absolutely. of some fun things? With the- and yeah. we're going to have a hashtag that you can follow along that day. Okay. Mm-hmm. We'll be posting pictures, and we'll be tweeting, and we'll be... Um, having a good time on social media. So hashtag is DOC2018. DOC. Okay. And you can post pictures, tag them in it, tag us in them. And so we can share them on our Facebook page and we can um, share them on Twitter if you're in Twitterverse. Okay. So (laughs) do you do Instagram? We don't do, well, we have an A State Instagram page, but we have not uh, delved into Instagram (laughs) for us. We're on Twitter yes. and on Facebook. So okay. Facebook. <laughs> Alrighty, so we want everyone to support this effort. Now, who all can attend the breakfast? First of all, we need to go back and talk about the date of the <laughs> <laughs> We're that talking about important. all the details. We have, you, have you got into the date and the time and location of the kickoff? So let's start. I'm sorry. Let's go there. <laughs> It'll be Friday, September 28th. Okay. Um, we'll have a kickoff breakfast for um, that morning for all of our teams who have volunteered. We okay. provide breakfast and lunch for those volunteers. And we have some awesome community partners who help us with that. So okay. um, St. Bernard's and um, Prairie Farms has donated oh. some milk and juice and ice cream for us. So okay. we're excited about that. And Kroger and Cash Saver. Um, and Pepsi and Frito Lay have also partnered with us to provide some of those food items that we we need. That's wonderful. You know, so with the food items donated, someone has to cook. So you have volunteers that we do. We wow. have an awesome chef. We'll say <laughs> griller chef. I don't know <laughs> from food, Saint Bernard. Yes, food yes. Uh, extraordinaire. Yes, yeah. yes. So our the Saint Bernard's team takes care of our food for that day and we're so grateful for that that they're willing to do that and what's really cool even for lunch like casa they have their employees come out and they Mm -hmm. serve lunch to everybody and so instead of them submitting a project they actually come and serve and so that's really neat to see that so we have some awesome um it's really a fun day yeah yeah it's one of our favorite that is amazing so not only are nonprofits getting volunteers but the nonprofit agencies who may not necessarily need volunteers are coming to, to volunteer. Help out. volunteer. Yeah. Yes. So, okay. That's amazing. Yes, they do. And one thing about Day of Caring too, it's our campaign kickoff. And right. So it's kind of it's our big bash to say, hey, we're kicking off our campaign season. We want you to know about the amazing nonprofits that you might have the opportunity to fund. 
mm -hmm. um, if you feel called to do so. And uh, so we'll have our pace setter amount announced there. And those are all the companies that have uh, turned in their campaign packets and given donations uh, prior to Day of Caring. And so okay. we'll announce that then. And that's always exciting. I look yes. forward to that. Yes. So. Um, the more funds we raise, the more uh, nonprofits we can fund and the more that they can do in our community. And so it's a twofold. Right, okay. yeah. And that um, same week of Day of Caring, uh, kind of as a kickoff to our campaign, we're doing a fundraiser night at Schlotzky's here okay. in Jonesboro. So that'll be on Tuesday, September 25th okay. from 4 to 9 p.m. Uh, here at Schlotzky's on Stadium in Jonesboro. So you can come by there and get dinner for your family. And they also have Cinnabon there. So breakfast pick up for breakfast morning. for the next morning <laughs> or dessert for that night. Whatever you want. Um, I'm all about Schlotzky's and Cinnabon. So I'm pretty excited about that. But um, proceeds from the sales made that night will go to United Way uh, toward our campaign. So. We're really excited about that and we really appreciate Schlotzky's um, being one of our partners in the community to Absolutely. give back. So, And I just want to just give a shout out or hand clap to United Way. Um, the agency that I worked for was funded partially by United Way and I must say if it wasn't for you all, our agency would have gone under several times. Um, so United Way was very beneficial to us and the work that we did in the community. Um, so tell us a little more about the types of agencies that you do fund. Oh gosh, so we um, are actually, we've moved to what's called program funding. And so instead of, we fund specific um, nonprofits, but we go into even deeper and we fund actual programs. Oh. And so um, we have a list on our website okay. of the programs that we do fund. Um, and off the top of my head, well I can pull it up because I've got my phone. <laughs> We just we just um, went to new nonprofits that we're funding. Okay. So let me pull that up. I remember at one point it was mainly organizations that provided service for family, children, maybe something health related. Yeah, and we focus on three main areas: it's okay. education, income, um, and health. And so what we do is we try to direct it. One thing, while she's looking that up, one thing I will add is, you know, with Day of Caring specifically, we primarily are in Jonesboro and have, um, you know, nonprofits in Jonesboro or at least Craighead County and volunteer teams from Craighead County. Um, but we're excited this year because we do have a couple of projects in Paragold, and so we have some volunteers um, from Greene County as well. And so that's really exciting that we're kind of expanding wow. the day and. Um, we are thankful we got some of our Centennial Bank employees in Paragold to volunteer for some of those uh, Greene County projects. So we're, we're excited about that because I think it just shows how much this event is growing. It's been here for 25 years, but we still have a chance to try new things. Yes. And so that's, I think that's really awesome. Um, so like, let's talk about Paragold Mission Outreach. So we support their back to work initiative. And so basically what they do is they provide work boots. Um, they provide um, funds for people to get their driver's license and childcare. Uh, while they're getting back on their feet to be able to get people back to work. And so we know that there's obstacles for people. Yes. Um, transportation might be an obstacle. Well, one of the programs that we fund provides um, them with funds to be able to purchase work boots, uniforms, gas to get to work. Um, so at City Youth, we fund an after school program that helps children uh, with dyslexia learning. Oh. And so, I mean, it's, we fund far and wide, uh, the food bank, we support their backpack program. Okay. Um, let's see, Helping Neighbors Food Pantry, their senior pack programs. And so we fund uh, around the initiatives of education, income, and health. And those are just some of the nonprofits that we support with your campaign dollars. All right, we're gonna pause right there and take a quick break. When we come back, we'll wrap up some more information. You're tuned in to Community Conversation on KLEK 102.5 FM. We'll be right back after these announcements. You're listening to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. We'll be right back.
We're back with Money Matters. I'm Alfred Edmund Jr. To keep your shopping under control and to avoid ruining your finances, here are tips to avoid overspending. First, learn your shopping triggers. When you have the urge to spend, is it a budgeted expense or so-called retail therapy? Note your mood whenever you feel motivated to shop as well as what's happening in your life at that moment. Overspending and unplanned purchases are typically tied to your emotions. If you still can't seem to stop yourself from overspending, even after recognizing your triggers, don't feel guilty or ashamed. Get help. Go to debtorsanonymous.org. In the meantime, stop carrying your credit cards. Lock them away if you have to. By the way, people who switch from using credit cards to spending cash only usually end up spending about 20% less, money that can go toward boosting savings or paying down debt. I'm Alfred Edmund Jr. for Money Matters, a product of American Urban Radio Networks. Money Matters is made possible by the Jonesboro Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, a nonprofit organization dedicated to uncompromising commitment to communities. Service, leadership, empowerment. www.jonesboroalumni.dst.org. Money Matters is brought to you by the Gears Foundation, a nonprofit organization providing students with assistance in their academic and career pursuits. Gears Foundation on Facebook, Gears underscore Inc. on Instagram, and the Gears Foundation at gmail.com. Money Matters is brought to you by Bancorp South, offering checking, savings, loans, credit cards, and wealth management. Five locations in Jonesboro to serve you. www.bancorpsouth.com or 870-972-9800. KLEK thanks CJ Pepper and the staff of Life Strategies Counseling Incorporated for helping people through hard times in life such as depression, family issues, stress, abuse, and more. They offer counseling and therapy for all ages, individuals, families, and groups. They are located at 1217 Stone Street. Phone number 1-866-972-1268 or online at lscihelp.com. Starks Auto Plaza at 2829 Red Wolf Boulevard is a proud KLEK supporter offering luxury pre-owned vehicles sold wholesale to the public. At Starks, we never say no. 870-203-9980. Details at StarksAutoPlaza.com. The Mu Omicron Lambda Chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated was established on January 1, 1977, originally serving Blytheville, Arkansas, and now serving Jonesboro, Blytheville, Osceola, Marion, and West Memphis, Arkansas. Today, the chapter continues to make an impact by focusing on Alpha's national community outreach initiatives such as My Brother's Keeper, A Boatless People is a Hopeless People, Go to High School, Go to College, Project Alpha, Boy Scouts, and the March of Dimes. The Mu Omicron Lambda Chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated is committed to Alpha mission of developing leaders, promoting brotherhood and academic excellence, while providing service and advocacy to the community. More information about the Mu Omicron Lambda chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated is available at MOL Alphas on Facebook or via email at molalphas at gmail.com. The McDaniel Law Firm, 400 South Main Street in Jonesboro, is a firm believer in justice and equality for the minority community. The McDaniel Law Firm has fought for our rights for over 44 years. The McDaniel Law Firm offers legal help for wrongful death, as well as trucking and automobile accidents. Bobby and Brett McDaniel are available for a free consultation at 870-336-4747 or at www.mcdaniellawyers.com. The key to making this station even better could be parked in your driveway right now. Donate your old car to us, you'll get a tax deduction, and we'll tow it away for free. Go to klekfm.org for more information. And now back to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. All right, welcome back to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. I'm speaking with Ms. Tiffany Gibson, the Director of Community Impact for United Way of NEA, and Ms. Bethany Noto, who is the Chair of the 2018 Day of Caring. Um, I am so excited. The United Way Day of Caring. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm so excited about this event. Um, this last segment, I'm going to let you ladies wrap up any information that we didn't get into. Um, I know I asked a lot of questions, went all over the place. 
I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but we definitely want to highlight the day and time, the kickoff. Um, why this event is so important? And just what does it mean for this to be the 25th year um, for this to be going on? So wherever you ladies would like to start. Important stuff. Um, yes. Date. The date, it is Friday, <laughs> September 28th. Okay. Um, and if you are a nonprofit who has not submitted a project, we would love for you to contact us. Um, you can go to United Way's website. It's uwnea.org. And you can go to the Day of Caring page and fill out a project request form there. Um, there's also contact information there if you have any questions before you submit a request. If you're not sure um, what we can do, uh, we can definitely answer any questions that you have. So that is probably the most important information. It's Friday, mm -hmm. September 28th. Uh, we ask that the projects be request or be um, submitted by tomorrow, by the end of the day. Okay. And um, then again, a reminder about our fundraiser night, the week of Day of Caring. It's Tuesday, September 25th from okay. 4 to four to 9 p.m. at Schlotzky's on Stadium. And you can come by and get Schlotzky's or Cinnabon. <laughs> and um, and a pro all, or proceeds from the sales that night will go to United Way's campaign. So we're excited about kicking off the campaign. All right. Yes, and I'm gonna read our organization list just really okay. quickly. Yes, okay. ma'am. Um, so American Red Cross, the Bread of Life Food Mobile Pantry, Breaking Bonds, Casa of the Second Judicial, Gateway Casa of the Third Judici Judicial District, okay. Cherry Valley Food Pantry, City Youth Ministries Family Crisis Center, Food Bank of NEA, Helping Neighbors Food Pantry, El Centro Hispano, uh, Legal Aid of Arkansas Mission Outreach of NEA, New Life Empowerment, okay. NEA Children's Advocacy Center, Options on Maine, the Children's uh, shelter, the Learning Center, and then our community partners for 2019 are Arkansas Early Learning, Arkansas Single Parent Scholarship Fund, Habitat for Humanity of Greater Jonesboro, and the Foundation of Arts. Okay. All right. So, is our name on the list uh, Kelly K? Well, no. This is our. These are our funded programs. The organizations that we currently fund. Oh wow. Yeah. So earlier when I was looking for that, <laughs> I finally found okay. it, and so I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to give every one yes. of those. Shout out and thank them for what they do in our community, and we look forward to serving them. Um, we do have 19 nonprofits on the list. We also are doing projects for nonprofits that we currently do not fund. And so okay. you can submit, if we do not fund you, please know that we still want to complete a project right. for you. Okay. So please um, go to our website, fill out a project form if you have any questions about the projects that we do. We're so excited about being here on Day of Caring and doing, putting some shelving up. And okay. so that's going to be exciting. Yes. Um, we also wanted to mention that Day of Caring Course is a, a day about giving back, but it's also the kickoff to our campaign. So we are doing a 50-50 raffle. Um, so if you're interested in that, you can get raffle tickets at the United Way office, which is 407 Union. Union. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> that was great. We, we practiced. <laughs> we did. Then. Oh, no. <laughs> um, so the t uh, raffle tickets can be purchased there. There. You can strike five dollars each mm -hmm. or five for twenty dollars. Okay. So you do not have to be present to win. We will draw for that on the morning of day of caring. Um but or I guess at lunch technically. Mm -hmm. okay. And um we will draw for that. So we have an amazing t shirt contest. Yes, we do at oh, breakfast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. so that's exciting. Last year UPS won that. Yes. I think that um there's a lot of people coming for that title. It's a yeah. very prestigious <laughs> t shirt title. So yes. um and this year we're gonna be honoring some of our volunteers that have been with us for um the whole entire yeah. time. And yeah. so, so companies that have been 25 there 25 years yes we've got people and companies that have mm -hmm. and so that's going to be very special yes. we've got um i guess we can can we announce our mc sure okay we've got mr Trey stafford <laughs> that's going to be right. doing our <laughs> MC, and we so it's going to be a great time we've got um, hal coming yes uh, oh you know, wow go red wolves so red wolves you know, <laughs> we always got to support the red wolves yes um yes. and we we also have we haven't really mentioned but we have an awesome committee that helps us with this helps us to um, you know, check on the projects, help us to get teams. Um, we really are grateful for all their help. Um, we also, Amber Caldwell is the co-chair for this event. Okay. So she will be 
taking the reins next year. Oh, and yes. um, it's, it's really neat because we have our committee uh, is comprised of a lot of people who may be new to Day of Caring, but we also have maybe some past chairs and some people who have the been, veterans. who, yes, yes, who have been with Day of Caring for many years. We'll oh, wow. say their experience. They're very, and, um, <laughs> very so, seasoned. So it's, it's really a great uh, group of people and we're so thankful for them and for all the work that they put in to that. Uh -huh. Well, we thank you all. We thank United Way for being a part of this community and for serving um, the different organizations that need your help and funding to so they can provide the services to individuals and families in the community. So again, Day of Caring, uh, September 28th. Uh, kickoff time is at 7.30? Yes. yes. 7.30. And what's the location? We'll be at St. Bernard's um, Auditorium. Okay. So thank you, St. Bernard's, for using yes. that. And we want to say, though, that the breakfasts are for the teams that are signed, already signed up. Yes. Okay. So if you would like more information, go to the United Way's website and sign up now. Thank you all for tuning Community Conversation. I hope you have a great day. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM, a program focusing on the people working to make the Jonesboro community a better place while offering viewpoints from all sides of the issues. The views expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the views of KLEK 102.5 FM. The